CPP recipient wondering how new payment would affect you. The Canadian government is giving eligible individuals this one-time bonus starting August 2024. Hello and welcome to our channel. Canadian Pension Plan CPP beneficiaries had excellent news today. This video discusses an important announcement about a new $1,200 amount accessible in August 2024. If you or someone you know receives CPP, watch the whole video and share it with others. This information is vital. Before we discuss this new sum, let's briefly explain the Canadian Pension Plan for those new to our channel or the show. Canadians retire with a steady income from the CPP, a contributing earnings-related social insurance program. It replaces around 25% of your wages paid into the program during your career. Now for the big news. In August 2024, qualified CPP holders will receive a $1,201 time payment from the Canadian government. This extra money is part of the government's efforts to help retirees live well. Remember that this $1,200 payment is separate from your monthly CPP benefits. This addition helps CPP participants financially. The rising expense of living and particular issues faced by many Canadian seniors prompted this decision. Who gets this $1,200? Generally, CPP retirement, disability, and survivor beneficiaries may qualify for this payment. However, you must meet certain requirements. Let's clarify eligibility requirements. First and foremost, you must be a July 2024 CPP beneficiary. To receive this increased amount, you must start CPP benefits by July 2024. Those receiving CPP benefits are on the right track. Second, you must be a Canadian tax resident. This guarantees that the additional help goes to Canadians contributing to the local economy. If you're unsure of your residency status, contact the Canada Revenue Agency or a tax specialist. Age is also crucial. You must be 60 by August 1, 2024 to receive $1,200. This is the earliest age to receive CPP retirement payments. To CPP disability or survivor beneficiaries, age requirements may vary. If you fall under this group, review Service Canada's eligibility standards. You may ask how this new amount will be dispersed. The statement states that the $1,200 will be paid immediately into your CPP account as a lump sum. If eligible, this sum will be automatically deposited without application. The payment is due August 2024. Although a date is unknown, keep an eye on your bank account and Service Canada's payment correspondence that month. Many of you may wonder if $1,200 is taxable. The government says this payment is taxed. This requires reporting on your 2024 tax return. Your income and personal situation may affect tax implications. Always consult a tax or financial counselor to understand how this additional income may affect your taxes. Another crucial question, what if you receive CPP in OAS? The good news is that this $1,200 is for CPP claimants only and not OAS benefits or supplements. So if you qualify for both. This will supplement your OAS payments. Note that this $1,200 payment is one time only. Not only has the government not declared intentions to make this a recurring payment, but pension and retirement benefits can vary, so it's best to stay updated. This announcement may affect your CPP benefits decision if you anticipate to receive them soon. Remember, CPP payments might begin at 60 or 70, depending on your age. Consider this $1,200 additional money when calculating your retirement income strategy if you're close to making this decision. What should you do next? First, don't act if you're collecting CPP benefits. If eligible, the payment will be made automatically. However, Service Canada should have your current contact and banking information. Log into My Service Canada or contact Service Canada to do this. Apply immediately if you're not receiving CPP benefits but think you could be eligible. To receive $1,200, you must receive CPP benefits by July 2024. Starting early is best because the application process takes time. Inform your elderly parents or relatives about this payment if you assist them handle their funds. They must know about this extra money and plan accordingly. Keep an eye out for official updates on this payment as August 2024 approaches. It's best to stay informed because program details can change. As information becomes available, we'll update our channel. Let's answer some questions. How will receiving $1,200 affect my guaranteed income supplement, GIs? The government hasn't explained how this payment affects GIs computations. GIs recipients should contact Service Canada or a financial counselor to see how this additional income may influence their benefits. What if I'm qualified for CPP but have delayed payments? Should you start your CPP benefits before July 2024 to qualify for this higher amount? 
evaluate the pros and drawbacks. However, starting your CPP sooner usually lowers your monthly payment over time. You must evaluate your finances and long-term ambitions before making this decision. Some may also wonder, is $1,200 inflation adjusted? The latest statement states that all qualified individuals receive $1,200, regardless of CPP benefits or inflation. Keep checking for updates since the government may modify this amount closer to the payment date. Splitting your CPP pension with a spouse or common law partner may make you wondering about this $1,200 sum. The facts on pension splitting for this amount are unknown. Service Canada or a tax specialist should be consulted closer to the payment date. Let's discuss why this extra payment matters. Many seniors struggle financially in retirement due to increased costs. This $1,201 time donation may help. It could help with unforeseen bills, savings, or daily comfort. This extra money is beneficial, but it shouldn't replace retirement financial planning. An effective retirement plan should account for your expected income from CPP, OAs, workplace pensions, and personal savings as you near retirement. Younger viewers watching this video to be informed or support older relatives should remember the importance of retirement preparation. Early CPP contributions and retirement savings prepare you for your senior years. Let's discuss some practical methods to use this $1,200 payout. While every financial situation is different, here are some possibilities. A fund for emergencies. Start or grow your emergency savings with this money. A financial buffer can ease stress and help you handle unexpected expenses without breaking your budget. Home enhancements. This could be a chance for homeowners to undertake little but significant home renovations. This may involve accessibility upgrades to make your house safer and more comfortable as you age. Health and wellness. Consider health investment. This could involve buying workout equipment, taking a class, or saving for medical expenses not covered by your provincial health plan. Debt reduction. Having interest debt. This payment may benefit you financially in the long run. Investing. Those comfortable with risk may invest this money to grow riches. Talk to a financial advisor to understand the dangers and choose investments for your age and risk tolerance. Donations to charity. If your finances are stable, consider donating some or all of this sum to a good cause. Consider tax benefits for charitable gifts. Note that this announcement may affect your CPP position differently. If you're getting CPP disability, survivor, or post-retirement benefits, check how this payment relates to you. Also consider this payment's timeliness. August 2024 marks the conclusion of summer, which can boost spending owing to energy bills and family activities. Timely payment may provide a financial cushion during this time. This notification allows caretakers of CPP users to discuss finances with their loved ones. It may be an excellent moment to assess their finances, organize their affairs, and consider how to use this extra money. What if I receive CPP benefits outside Canada? Many Canadian retirees live abroad, making this a crucial subject. The current announcement requires Canadian residency for this payment. If you're temporarily outside Canada but a tax resident, you may be eligible. Ask Service Canada about your circumstance. Before we conclude, let's summarize this announcement. August 2024 will provide a $1,201 time payout for CPP participants. Eligibility requires CPP benefits by July 2024, tax residency in Canada, and 60 years old by August 1, 2024. The payment will be transferred into your CPPP account automatically. Your 2024 tax return should include this taxable amount. CPP recipients don't need to do anything, but Service Canada needs your current information. We've done our best to offer accurate information based on the current announcement, but details may change closer to the payment date. Confirm facts with government agencies or reputable financial advisors. This video should have been useful. If this information was helpful, please like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for retirement planning, government benefits, and more. Use financial advice for seniors. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Be knowledgeable, prepared, and enjoy retirement.